today's camp is a bit of a special reason and I'll tell you about that and when I get up there up and up and up So Cam's super keen to get cosy in the tent. He gets his pyjamas on, getting his blankets. Um, he'll probably see on my pillow as well. But before I bring him in um, to shut up the door, I thought I would give you uh, a little tour of where we are tonight. So this is my pitch for tonight. So this is what it looks like out of the front of the tent looking over at Pike Oblisco, the Langdales and then down at Red Tarn and some beautiful clouds mist coming through at the moment really atmospheric so this spot here was where I was going to pitch. It's really nice and flat. However, it's a little bit more elevated than where I am. I'll swing around in a minute and show you. And there is another world camper. So if I'd pitched here, I would have been in a very prominent position. So as you can see, I'm a bit more in a dip and I'm behind some rocks, so I'm nice and uh, tucked away. So I've just got Cam on this long line here and then I've threaded this through these rocks. And that just gives him some space to explore and get some good sniffs while not being able to get any further to the sheep and the lambs that are roaming about in this area. Let's just go for just a little wander about uh, so you can see what the views look like.
here he is. And this is what we've got going on. I've got my Neo Air X Lite Thermarest. Cam's also got a Thermarest. It would have been lighter to bring him a foam mat, however, this actually packs up smaller, so a little bit heavier but smaller in the bag. I've got my mountain equipment sleeping bag, which is actually a winter, it's a four seasons bag, so pretty much overkill for the middle of summer, but it's going to be nice and cosy. I'll probably have that open and Cam will probably uh, get snuggled up in there as well. I've got my warmer jacket, I've got my hard shell, um, and then just a dry bag of spare hat, gloves, socks, that kind of thing. Rucksack down here, battery pack, I'll keep that warm later. And then Cam has got an extra blanket, he's got his pyjamas here as well. And then we've got a pillow book with me and then I've got in here I've got sachets of hot chocolate coffee tea that kind of thing a little electric candle for later because that's nice and cozy just a towel for his paws and in here I've got my food I've got a thermos so I didn't bring my jet ball or my MSR stove um, I just thought it's summer I don't really need hot food but it would be nice to have some hot drinks so I just brought a cup um, and some hot water so I can make various drinks Thermos flasks really are amazing. This is absolutely boiling hot. It's too hot, I think. Yeah, definitely too hot to drink it right now. I'm gonna have to put this down. The reason for today's wild camp is a bit of a special one. As we speak, Brian's actually in the Karakoram K2 base camp, and I would have absolutely have loved to have gone on that trip, on that expedition, but it was organised through his work, so it's not something that I was able to go on. I would have been in a heartbeat um, if I'd got any chance. I'm really happy for him that he got that opportunity. It's just amazing to think that thousands of miles away he's also camping on K2. If you haven't seen mountains of that scale it's just you just can't wrap your head around it. When I saw the Himalayas for the first time it was actually quite an emotional experience just because of just the magnitude of them so I'm a little bit gutted that I don't get to see his face when he sees you know K2 Broad Peak, Gas Room, One and Two, um, Marble Peak, you know, all of those to actually see them for the first time because you just can't explain it and even photos and videos and that just don't do it justice um, until you actually stood there looking up at them. It's a little bit hard to film in here with a spaniel he's looking at me now, leaping around on his inflatable mattress. This is Tent Life in the Spaniel. So this is my battery powered candle, bit of a luxury item, but when it gets dark it just adds a little bit of coziness. So I'll pop that up there. <laughs>
Good morning. So I've not long woken up. It's not much of a sunrise this morning, but that's fine. Lots of atmospheric clouds uh, going on at the moment. It was a little bit of a windy night to start with. Fairly low winds though, and then this morning it's beautifully still. So that's really, really nice, especially when you're going to pack up. I just wanted to come out and just be in the fowls and think about how he's doing and hope he's doing all right and uh, by the time you see this video he'll, uh, he'll be due back. I think it's really important that if you're in a relationship that you still retain your own individuality and sense of adventure and go out and do the things that you want to do and if you're not and you don't have anyone to go and do things like this with then again you can still get out and do those adventures that you want to do. It doesn't have to be anything grand just coming out in the fowls and spending an evening out here. It's absolutely stunning. It's so peaceful. Yeah, I hope that you can get out and have a little adventure, whatever that might be for you. And I hope you enjoyed coming along on this wild camp. Hopefully I've cobbled something uh, together for you. If you enjoyed uh, coming along, please do subscribe and see where we get to next. And uh, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. Mm -hmm.